What's up, my shiznos? How we doing today? 100% blind. I have no idea what this game is about. It's been so long since I uh, acquired it through, I'm going to guess, PlayStation Plus. Um, anyway, one thing that caught that catches my attention is the version number down at the bottom right zero point wait wait huh okay so this is some kind of beta early release alpha something or other yes you can begin a new game oh also when I first opened this thing <laughs> the, when you first open the game it says Probably based in fiction, which is a really odd thing to say. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, Just nothing will hair. remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways. Of course, he's of touching all the hairs on her head right now as he's saying it. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. Lord right. Mortimer? Just really? Just to the buyers Come on. And we can make a deal. Oh, you have no Lord idea Mortimer. of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I'm I can get promise you that. that. While we're waiting. <sighs> Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son. Didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? <coughs> Just a few <coughs> more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. Uh, uh. You know? Interesting I have to what admit, that is on the wall back there. The only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours always remain rational and open I got it I've opened our shackles draw him over here I'll take care of him Bombarchard Bombarchard mm -hmm. listen let's make a deal I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free oh what are you playing at don't worry mother you want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Oh, it's a decision game. Okay. Please, be my guest, mother. Hmm? That was a trophy? All I did was watch a video. Alright, I gotta pause this. I wanna check out the trophy. This is pretty ridiculous. Um, Alright, so we've got a gold here called uh, Fantastic Pear. <clears throat> 73.7% of people get this trophy. Okay, that means over a quarter of the people don't just turn it on and watch it. 
Like, you have to literally do nothing, and a quarter of the people who purchased this game didn't do that. That's, uh... Wow. Okay. Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? Couldn't be better. <coughs> he's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. There's that poster Means I, I wanted to see. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be <coughs> running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. Come on, let's Listen, go you home. old bat. <laughs> and don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borford. Got his own evil lair. Cyanide. There's a good name for a company. Big Bad Wolf Studios. <laughs> oh my god, where do these guys come up with these names? I'm gonna call my band Anthrax. <laughs> well done, mother. You just had to pick up Bob Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer? And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Hell yeah, it's an evil layer, dude. Episode 1. Dun dun dun! The Mad Ones. The least he could do is For my American viewers, mad, mad means crazy. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. Not pissed. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir, what brings you here? So there's no timer on this. That's a little different from, uh, I guess, Detroit Become Human. Which is the last one I played that was like a decision game. And all of the Telltale ones. Lord are Mortimer timed asked also. me to join him. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we You're are all to drown me, motherfucker? to solve our personal issues? You'll see. Right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed. I imagine this must be your first time here. Somebody's a virgin. That's right. Until now, I've never been invited by Lord Mortimer. You, you won't soon forget. Can we just start calling Even him Lord Voldemort? So I wish I'd been passed over. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet. If you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. The Cardinal. A duchess? You can hook I up with her, you'll be royalty. Of this prestigious. Well, nobility, I know, anyway. I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you alright? Uh. 
Lord Voldemort's messing up my head. Mother? Oh shit, your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah. No one's going to find it. How you doing out there? Thanks for joining Are in. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother! No! Don't! Don't! What? what Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, Sarah. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah. But you will pay for it. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's okay. sake? This is a little different. I absolutely need to find you, Mother. No options, no button menu, no options of any kind, much less a button map. Interesting. Louis, <coughs> the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, we didn't but happen we've met to run before. into each other. At that time, Ugh. you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh. Okay, this is some kind of RPG then? This is... Okay, we, we got a mix of a lot of different things going on here. Okay, Diplomat Shines in Society. Speaker, faux pas. Master of Deception. Excels in Investigation. Hmm. Well, you guys have any preferences? I'm open. I don't want to play this game three times. Yet. I might change my mind, but, uh, you know, typically I don't want to play. You know, I change my mind all the time. Uh, anyway. Alright, we got Detective, Occultist. This certainly sounds more interesting. Okay, I got five points available. Your past has granted you one skill point in manipulation and one skill point in psychology. You think that would be... <laughs> you think that would be the diplomat, not the occultist. Uh, okay. Skill not a... Oh, so this is my skill tree down here. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> Rely on your knowledge of symbols. Subterfuge science. 
Okay, so this is manipulation. This is the one that I can do something with. Where's psychology? Ah, I see. I have been involved in all... Oh, a mini-map! Hell yeah! Alright, let's check out that trophy. Novice Occultist. Bronze Rare, 32.8%. That's way up the list of trophies. I guess most people don't play as occultists, but... I guess that means to get a couple other trophies, I'm gonna have to at least go through the beginning part again. All right, and what do we got? What do we got? Where am I? I wanted to look journal. <clears throat> Giuseppe Piaggi, legate of Pope Pius the Sixth, a distinguished speaker. Good old Gus worked throughout his career to serve the principles of the Roman Catholic Church. Ah, oh, all right, let's see what else, what in God's flat earth is going on here. Oh my. You have always been charismatic. You trusted your mother. Oh, this is stuff I already have, okay. Occult class skills cost less to acquire. Uh, all right. Sorts then. of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. <laughs> Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? How could I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met? Fuck. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill, the less points. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, I guess we're trying to manipulate somebody like a puppet on a string, according to this. The puppet master, the godfather, yeah. Emily, it hurts me that you could doubt my sincerity. I thought we'd gotten past that stage by now. 
Don't take it like that, Louis. I was only joking. I thought you were making fun of me. I thought you were someone I could trust. I'm, I'm hurt to see that you're still at the stage of testing, Dude, Duchess. You won. Let it go. Listen, Louis. I am sorry. I really didn't take want to it hurt too far. you. Forget what I just said. It was clumsy of me. If you say so. Let's go with that then. Didn't Nothing see. Nothing a back rub can't no fix. Me. Push any harder, and I'll make a fool of myself. You already pushed too hard, dummy. Right. Time to go to the manor. Skills allow you to discover hidden items. Yeah, okay. Opportunities do not consume effort points. Okay. Hmm. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Personality, certain skills, rates, exploiting their personality is crucial to it. Oh, that's a that's a nice thing. Okay. Well, I can't seem to find my live stream. Immunity revealed, vulnerability revealed. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. <clears throat> I don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. You obtain talents by carrying out actions. Yeah, that's kind of how it works. <clears throat> Let's see. Review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer an interest in improvements in the me talents menu. Talents tab in the menu. Okay, talents. Ah, oh, yes, this one. Hey, hey, how's it going? Welcome. It's kind of interesting. We've got a... Something kind of like a Detroit Become Human. With a little bit of Telltale mixed in. With a little bit of... Um... Like RPG skill tree. Uh elements to it. I really want a sound check here. Make sure everything's leveled off, but I can't find it on my YouTube page on my phone. I think like that would be the thing that comes up first. Sir, may I ask your name, please? You may Louis not. Maurice de Richet. How dare Richet de Richet. you not know me? Delighted no, I've to never been here before. Among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother well, as quickly as possible. You must be hideously burned. We're doing our utmost to find your mother. What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But, sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. <clears throat> and just what have you found so far? It would seem that sir's mother may be hiding on the island, and regularly changing her location. Sir's but no one mother? seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. 
We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Questioning locked. What? Oh. I guess you have to go through the police line to get that. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no uh -huh. one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem yeah. to have found and the an Titanic went down in one solid to piece. To Sir's mother. According to all the officers on the bridge. Is with the initials S D R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have uh, orders yeah. to give it to Lord Everything looks pretty clean for you as I found it. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Pass me the handkerchief. But, but sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, oh but sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often oh, let me use? Do I deserve such Karen. little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. Okay, that is not what that menu choice looked it like it was going to be. It looked like it looked polite, right? You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. <sighs> See, that's what could she have been doing? That's out one of the things Telltale wolf. always got wrong about their games is the tone of the answer never really matched uh, the the text of the choice. Oh, okay, we have a run. R two is a run. Um, okay, I'm running. Not gonna let me up there. Okay. I mean, put a gate there or something. Shit. Thing in this room with the lights on. Uh huh. Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Where did I get locked? Oh, there we are. Have no type of light. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. I see a cat. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Be after my popcorn. Click on it. Um, 
What happened to that jelly shit that's supposed to restore my... Hello? This is ultimately some kind of resource management game. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Aha. Uh -huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Hmm. The powder's wet. Not surprising given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Apparently, someone on this island has gone through a whole lot of trouble to arm themselves. I really must find you, dear mother, and quickly, too. You know she has the gun. Why? <laughs> she took just enough powder. Come on, man. Fragment of amber. See, that shit's still not showing up in the inventory. There you are. I guess I shouldn't have done that since it doesn't take up any inventory space. Um, it's like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. At least it has a free camera. This chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Uh huh. Okay, so what are these just reflections? I get. Yeah, these little blue dots are just reflections. They're not. Great, honey. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. Assuming someone's always watching. I feel like I missed something. Oh, yes. Ooh, a weapon? Looks like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. And the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon hey, powder. Cat. This might just come in handy. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Okay. I'll take them. Touched for a good long time. A lantern. Nothing special. Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. Want this or not? Come on, I need my hand. 
Okay. Okay. Hmm. A letter written in an Oriental language. I have the slightest idea of what it says. Hmm, maybe this is gone with detective. Hmm. A letter written in an Oriental language. I have the slightest idea of what it says. The dressees in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me. It's Brazil about time to order huh? some envoys there. It's too badly written. I, I can't make out the address. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. in Cairo, Egypt. Mortimer communicates with the whole world, apparently. His eminence, Giovanni Angelico Brasi. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Apparently this letter is meant for Pope Pius VI. Born Giovanni Brasci. I wonder which one of these people is influential enough to write to the Pope in person. <clears throat> Probably a Dutchman. Oh, it's going to take two points. Samuel Ritter Doshua. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Richet. You Good thing I spent the points. Then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richet. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name? Okay. But here you go even further, by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think! Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? Politics locked. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But, just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Oh, I can't look at it? Come on. Ugh, damn you. Well, 
was that? I know you heard that too. Come on, let me move. What the fuck, I'm just stuck. Oh, really it's so... I saw a spot right here, it was just there. Okay. managed to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Riche, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. If only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway... I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps, being as persuasive as possible. Consequences to the rest of the story. Oh, cat. Get back here. I pet you too much, huh? That'll teach you. Let's put my feet up here. All right. Ah, <clears throat> oh, there we go. Ah, I can feel my knees again. All right. All right, Thank let's you, do myself. this. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? <laughs> Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when That's I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, your eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. You only knew my son. I hold your mother in the highest of God. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, <coughs> and I should like them to remain <coughs> as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her research. In other words, you can trust me. 
my child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a <laughs> Yeah, because I don't want to pay the three points. I've seen that discretion is not oh, your special. I should have used the three points. You Great. will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in you. Shit. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look. If it's of any help, you can always I get for being cheap, right? with me, and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. <coughs> Do you think I should give it to you? Um... Don't worry, your eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing less. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God? that no one other than your mother will read it. Till you have given the right answer or you have no blunders left. <laughs> I guess that means I don't believe in God. Okay, no worries. Up uh. Your eminence, that's just not possible for me. Why is that? I've always had a Cartesian mind, and I won't make false promises. I respect you too much for that. I spend my time trying to find logical and reasonable answers to problems which, at first glance, may seem supernatural. I'm not saying I don't believe in God as a concept, I just don't believe in the God of your sacred texts, and I don't want to lie to you. Even though your answer does shock me, my son, I shall only hear your honesty. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur Deliche. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a All right, let's hang on for one second. I'm going to check. Oh, hey, what are you whining about? I want to check out the trophy. Dog, why are you whining at me? Alright, we got the trophy. Missy Dominici. Persuade the Cardinal to give you the letter. Okay, cool. Alright. Are there French priests who face a massacre organized oh, by the cursed whining. Republican tribunals? The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother. Hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priest's safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. Letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Hey, I didn't promise some shit. Alright, clues are hidden. Some of them will have an impact. Okay, yeah. How do I look for hidden clues? Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. <coughs> Open to Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then, 
Covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. Might come in yeah, handy someday. Yeah, was a real piece of shit. The word brutal should mean cowardly. Not the way we use it. Um, manuscripts allow you to educate yourself. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read. Oh, I guess I better take the book. Huh. Oh, I already did take the book. He's got to have some nice shit. You know what, I don't see anywhere are windows. I mean, it would be this dark in the middle of the day. This guy must go through a lot of candles. I hope he gets drone delivery out here. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can <laughs> say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. You spent the whole Monsieur, day in front of the fire. may I introduce you to Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your eminence. Fucking politician. Simple. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, uh, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. That's Let us forget our Washington. fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, <coughs> there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh. here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends. Speak for yourself, sir. Do you know sir. the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the Order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit, that's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. 
He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Home. I shall see you later. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him. But he will recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Excuse me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holmes. An old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. Would you have any information about the disappearance of my mother? Ah, uh, very little, I'm afraid, my young friend. Your mother came at the invitation of Lord Mortimer. Then, one fine day, we couldn't find her anywhere. That's it? As I said, I don't know very much. Lord Mortimer had the entire area searched immediately. We found no clue as to her disappearance. But I am convinced that as soon as Lord Mortimer becomes available, he will explain the situation. Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Sir, do you know Emily Hillsborough? Oh, Madame la Duchesse. Of course. It was I who invited her to the island. 
Do you know of any link between her and my mother? Not really, no. They may well have met at the court of King George, but I can't be sure about that. No dispute between them, then? Not to my knowledge, no. And even if Duchess Hillsborough is a complex woman to understand, I honestly can't imagine her in the conflict with the famous Sara de Ricci. <laughs> no! <laughs> Elizabeth! I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? I'd rather not get involved, either. <laughs> Just sit there a moment. It'll pass. She's slowly recovering. Now, these fits of hers are quite worrying to see, but normally there are no consequences. No consequences? Have you seen the state she's in? Can you tell me something about her? She needs a doctor. Why precisely is she here? Well, she's the daughter of one of Lord Mortimer's friends. He sent her here so she could be helped. I didn't know Lord Mortimer was a doctor. Uh, not in the sense you understand, but he has been practicing alternative medicine for a very long time. The poor child has already been treated by all the medical doctors her father could find, but no one has been able to cure her. Elizabeth is beyond the reach of traditional medicine, Monsieur de Richet. Are you all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Uh, four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me... I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? Isegni della bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, 
I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? to be mentioned both in the Bible and in the Quran. Jacques Perru. out of an old encyclopedia.
Herzog Johann von Wulner. Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it'd be worth today. President George Washington. This is Thursday.
Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Huh, that's me. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Right. So what shall I do with this letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Biagi's trust. What should I do? So... It really is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. Wow, nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. St. Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy, before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. 
I wouldn't like to be his son. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her.
Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never too late. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. A little nighttime stroke. Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. I'm coming. Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer.
last judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. spoke of in the hall. I bumped into her in the small salon before. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Golden elixir. Hmm. I'll keep it for later.
Saturn devouring his son. Good God, how awful. Everything in this painting is disturbing. It's the first time I've seen brushstrokes like this. Crucifixion of St. Peter. He was crucified upside down, out of humility. Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe a Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Guard. You should do something, my son. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Forgi Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you! Stay out of it! This is none of your business! I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am! Stop! I beg you! I, I didn't mean to! Don't hit me, please, sir! Shit! Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to your room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna uh, suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Uh, 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 you filthy whore! I apologize, have mercy. Please have mercy. Uh, no, uh, I apologize. No, no, no. Mercy, have mercy. No, no, no. Where's that smart mouth now? I'll teach you a little respect. No. Huh? No. Huh? Look, you huh? dumbass. Are you deaf? She said she was sorry. Call me that again. Leave her alone. Are you looking for a slap, Sonny? That's what I thought. Now get out! I have to deal with this dirty slut. Well, did you get time to search the room? Yes, I found out many things. Good. Did Elizabeth give you any trouble? Elizabeth? No. Well, you could have mentioned she was the raving maniac, huh? What do you mean? She was with a Frenchman. He was about to beat her when I arrived. What the devil are you talking about? I thought he was going to kill the poor girl. Did you intervene? I did what was necessary to give you enough time to search her room. Good work, my friend. I knew that I could count on you. So tell me, did you find any information? Oh, yes. What I found is likely to upset you. What do you mean by that? Elizabeth is indeed the daughter of John Adams. Why pass her off as dead? I found her medical file. It appears that for many years, your mother was her personal doctor. From what I read, she behaved more like a butcher than a doctor. 
What are you talking about? I'm not a child. What's going on here? John believed that his daughter was possessed. He appealed to your mother to save her, but the treatment she inflicted on the poor child... My God. Look, stop beating around the bush. What exactly did she do to her? Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? My mother got her hands dirty for the common good, so don't be too quick to judge her. For the common good? We're talking about the vivisection of a child, of tattooing her from head to foot with a red hot stop, iron. Stop this. For her fifth birthday, she inflicted the stigmata of Christ on her. And for her tenth birthday, a hysterectomy. What kind of gift is that My for a My mother's child? not a monster. I do not doubt that your mother meant well. But the techniques described in the file, it, it, it is pure torture. Uh, please, I need some time alone. I have seen some horrors in my time. But if what is written in these damn documents is true, be brave, my boy. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? It could have been worse. Let's say that Miss Adams will remember it for a couple of days. What? Did you not intervene? Of course not. What did you want me to do? That thug could have snapped me in half in two seconds. So, you prefer to let that fragile young lady take a beating rather than risk getting slapped around a bit yourself? Mr. Derice, your mother would not have been proud of you. Listen, next time it happens, join me instead of hiding behind the door. If you're gonna talk big, back it up. You should be ashamed. I will pray for your soul, my son. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Luis. Now give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night.
exhausted. I better go to bed. Well, I'll search my room tomorrow. Mother stayed here right before me. You never know. And Mortimer had better show up. All right. In my vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I'd better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind.
writing material. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Nothing. The torture of Ixion. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Golden elixir. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Case is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A voyage around the world. The travel log of the explorer Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of Mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened. I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Not far from solving the puzzle, I must keep searching. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, uh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, uh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Oh, 
not far from solving the puzzle. I must keep searching. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. There's a circle around the lock here. It must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. All right. I've retrieved everything. Nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Hmm. Let's recap. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. A message using invisible ink. I bet you use a limit to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? The message is illegible. I have to keep searching. Apart from getting the book dirty, I can't see any use for this. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here.
haven't even had time to unpack my cases. I don't see how it's technically possible for one type of ink to reveal another. It doesn't make sense. Working. The heat reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. After that, she adds, beware hero. The beast always charges the best protected soldier. And that's its weakness. What is my mother trying to tell me? Since you've gone to so much trouble, you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. That's the door to Elizabeth's room.
For God's sakes, what happened in here? Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Hey, these are magnesium crystals, a fairly effective remedy for easing anxiety. Well, let's see what it tastes like. Ugh. I really need to stop tasting everything I find now. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and, unfortunately, 
Your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please, excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. chest with a half circle pattern. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. The note suggests binding the feet and hands, then blocking the jaws using a piece of cloth to prevent the tongue from being sectioned. That looks like a method to control an epileptic fit. I wonder if Elizabeth is the one being treated for that illness. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. A novel of the initiation of a young woman into a polite society. August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you, but they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. August 24th.
June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last. Write soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. August 24th. June 11th, 1791. Great, honey. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Hannibal crossing the Alps, another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room and he gets victory after victory? Devil's Thorn. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm, that might come in handy.
beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powali continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. The Battle of Alexander at Issus, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Amber. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet 
as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Test, test. Why the hell isn't this on? Oh, fucking finally. Okay, so for the last... How long have I been doing this? Oh, god damn it. I have been talking to you guys the whole time. And... I guess at least I found out by now. That's fucked up because the, the light on the mic is on. Person Getterix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs. It kind of ruins the whole video for me. I swear I've been just cracking jokes and everything the whole time. First floor, first floor. I haven't been outside yet, have I? No, or over here. Person Getterix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs. My dear Napoleon, as pre- Yeah, okay. Oh, actually, this is a good chance for me to test my balance. It's a, the thing I set out to do in the first place. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. Test, test, test. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong wow, leader like turned way down of France. I trust you to be discreet. As to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Okay. Yeah, that's too uh, I think this is balanced. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meetings a little organized high. for the occasion. I don't care anymore. Okay. Apologies all around. I'm just some guy sitting in a chair. That's it. I'm, I don't have a production studio and all the cool stuff. Okay, so one of the things I said was about this blade. It's a beautiful weapon. Um, a Levy Damask blade. It's marked with the initials Damascus of the manufacturer of Versailles. Blade. If you don't know what that is, definitely look up uh, Damascus steel uh, blades. Very cool stuff to look at. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Yo, mother. Oh, seriously, not having vigilance has been such a hassle. Second playthrough is definitely going to need some vigilance. Alright, so back to going down to the first floor. But uh, what I did was I... Now that I got all those other skills unlocked, I have um, made another 
sweep all the way around to see if anything new unlocked. And I was just looking for like something little, like over in one of these things. So we found two entire rooms. So, um, wow, yeah, that definitely was worth another trip around the hallway. All right, now that that search is complete, now you just feel like I've wasted like hours of time doing this because I, I was talking to you and it wasn't coming through and that really sucks. Excuse Whoa. me, Monsieur de Richet, I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. I'm, I'm sorry. I should have stopped him from beating you. What's done is done. It was my fault, not yours. Don't say that. It's never the victim's fault. Look at your eye. It got her trained. Damn. My eye's nothing. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. Really? Yes. I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh, she's getting more and more agitated. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? I want to find out what really happened. No, you really don't want to know what your mother did when I shed my first blood at puberty. On the contrary, you can tell me anything. Let me be my own judge. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Uh... Don't you have a brother? I have three, but not one of them has bothered to help me. Charles and Thomas were kept away from me to make sure I wouldn't upset them. As for John, the only time he visited me was to make me swear to never publicly compromise his career. Sorry, I... I didn't know. You're an only son, right? Does it show? If you had a brother or sister, you'd know the way blood ties are unbreakable. Except in my family, unfortunately. Your mother, for example. You mean the woman who left me in the hands of your mother? The woman whose duty it was to give up There's her life no to protect me? Choice. I disowned my mother when I turned 13. Uh, I should have just let it timed out. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have mentioned her. I've got nothing more to say to you. Figure it out yourself. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service, day and night, sir. Um... Y 
Yes. What can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer, sir. In the west wing, on the second floor, are his private chambers. In the east wing are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Does sir have any more questions? Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. From the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. But Sir may be reassured the building is accessible on both sides, so that it surrounds the garden in question. So, Sir should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir another question? What is outside on the island exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, Sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If Sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise Sir to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help Sir in any other way? Um, I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about my master. Is there anything else that sir would like to know? What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir, but I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps sir would like to know something else? As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Uh. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste that. Good to know that's available, though. Red Salon, Red Salon. It's a right turn. Oh. oh man, that is some ball shit right there. Restricted. What's the other dot though? Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Okay. Where's all this extra light coming from? Oh, there are windows. Oh, that's clever. Okay. All right. Getting sick. Where am I going? Okay, if I can't go to... Those doors are sealed off. Looks like I can go this way.
Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. Left and there. Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. I'm starting to think what Lord is Voldemort doesn't exist. He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? <laughs> not really, no. Huh. Peru looks totally out of place here. I'm not sure if I understand. He's counting the ten sets of cutlery around each plate? The man is completely lost. Thank you again for the wine, your eminence. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to be here. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. And right he was too. Oh. Surprisingly, you no know, Volner prohibited religious practices in Prussia. Renowned member of the oh, Rose Quad yeah, Order. Sure called for quick. I guess I made that one pretty fast. Well, you know, I always still have to stop and look at the trophies. So it is a bronze. In the same game, choose 20 answers before the time is up. Okay, that's pretty basic. And let's see. I said bronze already. Rare 46.8% of people hit that one. Freemason and I can't. great level wow, of alchemy. That many people trying out. over him. I really do have a problem digesting political protocol. <laughs> My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. Oh. I shall feel better Poor too thing. as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance Those the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London oh, oh, is much closer oh, to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, oh my oh. friend, oh. I am shaking in my clogs. My <laughs> <laughs> clogs. <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. <laughs> Typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule, but I count on my discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before mm. Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... Whoa. I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Check you Thank out. You. I made a Never promise. Now that. it is done. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. Vulnerability <laughs> discovered. Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. Oh. That's Washington Lee. What do you think of Volner? Many believe he is the real leader of Prussia. A charming man, but with an iron fist and a velvet glove. I also know he's famous for his love of the hunt in all its forms. He's a girl hound. Have you any information on this Napoleon? Oh? My friend. <laughs> what do you think, madam? 
What is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution. And that it always cost them their lives. Thank you, that's helpful. Mm. <laughs> Monsieur de Richet? It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? Are they really asking me to align with Napoleon? Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal uh -huh. urgently uh -huh. if so I want to be want to organize things her. properly. I haven't okay. seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. I can't even tell if that's grayed out or not. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you ought to speak to my mother. Oh, what a pity. I was hoping you would be up to the challenge. Mm. Too bad. I have yeah. one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times I guess that I can't have be befallen so our I beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Okay, hold on. How do I... Okay, it's up. I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and, at the same time, developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words, and I agree. Monsieur de Richer, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I, I would hate like to politicking thank you for your so support much. You by offering you this unbelievable gift. Person. I hmm. fucking hate politics. Reflections on the revolution in France. <laughs> Mr. Bonaparte. Oh. So, sorry about that wrong button, but, um... Okay, so there's a silver trophy. <clears throat> Persuade Napoleon he can trust you. Rare. 36.9%. Of the people get it all together here those of us for whom it is not the first time here like me are all trembling in sweet anticipation sweet of the arrival of our for the rest i would like to reassure you that lord, lord Mortimer Baltimore. always has a few surprising projects to propose <laughs> but i can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> The last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. Oh, yeah. We are here Great. among like-minded people. So Special let us interest put aside in the conflicts in and George of our nations time. Isn't find that themselves at present. So I raised my glass in honor of you all. My new and old friends. 
I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Um... Washington is a very gifted speaker. Leave him for five minutes with sworn enemies and he'll convince them to be friends for life. Right. We shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. So, this guy is Lord Voldemort. Second, while well, I look at that trophy, and it's a bronze called Influential People. Complete the third quest. Rare. 45.4% of people get it. Apparently my mic wasn't hooked up correctly, even though it's lit up saying that it is. Um, I've gone on a lot about um, the structure of this game. I really, really enjoy this. This is interesting. It's very interesting. Four hundred items found. You know what? I'm gonna move my camera. Give me a second. I'm gonna put that in a different corner where it's not so in the way. All right, let's try that. Yeah, there we go. Much more out of the way. Give me just a second. I'm gonna let this start. Oh crap, I guess I'm not gonna let. Okay, let's get some points slotted. Skill use is free, huh? Um, what do we have that's new? cost and effort points by three okay and it really sucks that they don't let you save these points to carry them over to something else but I have three available okay unlocks dialogue options That's vigilant. Give me my points back. I want vigilance.
right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my... Ah. There's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Dude. Okay, that wasn't me. Um... I have to equip a book now. I really need to find the rest of these fragments. What is this? One point in etiquette. I do badly need etiquette. What else do we have here? Politics, conviction, manipulation. Cult. Yeah, definitely etiquette. Okay. Damn, look at this place. Probably be assured that there's going to be a trophy for discovering all of them. That's almost a given. All right, let's get out of here. Damn, that's outdoor dining right here, Jack. Too much money. Some people just have too damn much. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. I should think you are beginning to worry. Well, I, I must admit, Your Eminence, indeed it does worry me. I understand. But continue to have faith in Sarah. You'll see, I'm sure, that in a few days, we'll all be laughing together. That's all I hope for, Your Eminence. But, while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Well, go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? As I haven't visited all the manor yet, I... Wondered if you hadn't seen a Medusa by any chance. I beg your pardon? Yes, La, la Gorgogne, the Medusa from Greek mythology. Would you have seen one in any shape or form? Not at all, my son. 
I'm not sure what you're getting at, but unfortunately, I, I'm not going to be of any use to you. Thank you anyway, Your Eminence. I, I won't take up any more of your time. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. Uh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Well, I fucked that up. Okay. How the hell are butterflies way the hell up here? Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Logic. on him let's see use exactly one consumable of each type so this is all about just fully discovering people every one of these except this one okay nice oh hell yeah that's gonna be how you level up right there is your effort points okay? I am failing. I gotta admit, I am definitely failing in the uh, confrontations. Oh, uh, what do we got here? Okay, yeah, yeah, this is all grinding stuff. Okay, nothing special. person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. It can't be here. Alright, let's see what part of the map I'm allowed to access. Probably still not this. Yeah. Okay.
These look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. Parts of an encyclopedia. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Wikipedia. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. That's cool. All right, which one's golden elixir? Cured negative alteration. Huh? Chronicles of the Amber Princess. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Dorkin? Really? Oh, that explains a lot. by the giant Zeus. I haven't had a chance to see it. Hey. This camera's just drifting back to fuck you. The camera keeps drifting back to the Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. Huh. That sure is a lot of chicks that want Oedipus. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. Fall of the Damned by Rubens. The man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss. And now, the obvious way it wanted me to go in the first place. You gotta explore, you gotta crawl the whole dungeon, make sure you don't miss anything. of the fire. Oh, hi there. Romney painted Lady Hamilton as Circe. Mm -hmm. 
Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? The conversion of Ulysses by Gourges. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. And here they are as swines. turns into a storyboard also. Seriously turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. Uh. Come on. Ulysses and Circe at the table. If I were you, Ulysses, I wouldn't drink the wine. So where does it actually begin? A swine in a salon. That's an odd choice of decor. Uh, were you just paying attention to the story a minute, a second ago? Okay, I think this is the start, so I'm gonna drop a stream marker. some debate. Who did Dosi paint? Alcina the fairy or Circe the magician? Romney painted Lady Hamilton as Circe. Circe preparing wine. What better trap for Ulysses? The conversion of Ulysses by Gourges. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. Okay. No caption, but obviously here they are as swines. Circe turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. Oh, that was nice of him. Ulysses and Circe at the table. If I were you, Ulysses, I wouldn't drink the wine. Wine in a salon. That's an odd choice of decor. <laughs> and that's the story of Ulysses and Circe in paintings in this game. Beautiful game it is and intriguing. Very different. Keep going on and on about it, but the uh, <clears throat> just if you forget about the art, the core gameplay, it's got this story, this story mode function to it, and uh, <clears throat> the lock is surrounded by a triple circle.
is my camp. Oh, okay, so now I can't see how many points I have. I have no space left. I'll retrieve it later. Okay. Um. Yeah, I can't see how many points I have. Uh, I gotta move the camera. <sighs> okay, let's try lower right. Alright, now we're in the lower right. Oh wow, yeah, I can definitely use a couple of these. No space left. I'll retrieve it later. What? I have no space left for what? Royal jelly, right? Okay, so no. Oh, I don't like that button map. Not. Why can't options bring you to this instead of just something that says pause? Well, time is stopped in here anyway, so it's paused. Can't can't the button just bring you here? <sighs> I've digressed. I have no space left. Okay. I'll retrieve it later. Royal jelly. Oh, fuck you. Royal jelly, which one's royal jelly? Restore two effort points. I thought that's down. That's one I just did. All right, I've retrieved everything. Okay. Now all of this because I couldn't see those damn dots. Uh, user error. Amber crystals. It's messed up, you know, this guy. He's just like walking around his house stealing all his shit. Interested in this writing. The Miller Brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Atrus. The Miller Brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Okay, well, I guess I'm not going to be sprinting through here. of my Latin is find out what uh, you know origin that's obvious you know English is a Latin based language so just find the one the Mathematica right can't figure this shit out sort of making my point for me I know there's a proper term for it but it's not coming to me Scientia Naturalis natural science right I wasn't taking pictures of any of that. Uh, 
Wait, this guy's balling. That's probably the original Last Supper. Where all eyes size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. She go and try to find the creature now? Oh, I feel like such a fucking idiot for that shit, priest. Hmm. Allegory regarding the decoration of the rights of men. That's the least you could say. Liberty or Death by Regnaud. Well, I'll take Liberty, please. But well, I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Ah, a painting by Engle. Moliere, dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. I like to look around. I appreciate uh, level design quite a bit. I don't like to breeze through games. I like to really experience the game, you know what I mean? Just me. Feels like the idea of him going out, going to wars, is he's giving him a halfy. A painting with no name. Maybe that's Lord Voldemort. Wow. Damn. What is going on with these dogs? They're tearing up. What is that, a gator or another dog? <laughs> Medusa. I've got to find out what Mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword? Hmm. A hero with a lantern? And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Ah, uh, come on. No, I didn't. I didn't take this game to play fucking Tomb Raider. I hate it when they do that. I hate it when Telltale does this. Ugh. Who I found said, Beware, hero. The beast always charges the best protected. That is its weakness. Oh, okay. That's the key. The best protected hero is the one yeah, holding the shield. I got that. Thanks. Thank you, mother. Should have said something. Oh, that means it's dinner time and family time. I hope this gave you some uh, some good gameplay. Uh, overall, last impressions very, very impressed. 
core gameplay mechanics of kind of doing the detective thing. Plus, they spell it out for you if you need a little help. Um, those RPG elements, um, you know, your, your skill trees, and this I'm impressed I really like this thing so um, I'll be back with more of it for sure I guess I just quit. Oh, here we go. Huh. Ugh, you're going to make me hit it every time. I can't hold it down. Is that what it meant by sound effects? Yeah, I can live without that. the app and hope it auto saved peace out guys make sure you check out the links below to my social media including the archive of screenshots on facebook